Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video is guide for Scotty. Now you may have noticed that she isn't highly recommended in the tier list. However, I personally love her design and playstyle, so I couldn't just skip her. I believe there are other people who couldn't skip her either, so let's find out how to play Scotty together. Scotty is a Divine Grace type and can enter cruise mode by expanding full Divine Grace. By holding down the normal attack button, Scotty can perform charging attack and her normal attacks charging attack and skill 2 will gain the divine grace. Additionally, Scotty gains an icebreaker mark with skill 1, which provides a 20% damage buff to charging attack and a 10% damage buff to ice damage. Scotty's dodge ability has two functions. If you use dodge while not moving, she will gain a barrier that blocks the first attack without any damage and reduce subsequent damage by 60%. Furthermore, if you have the Icebreaker mark, you can cancel the barrier right after being hit to unleash an instant charging attack. When you use dodge while moving, Scotty can evade attacks like other units, and an extreme melee dodge will grant one Icebreaker mark. Skill 3 activates cruise mode by consuming full Divine Grace and it lasts for 15 seconds. Divine Grace is charged when moving or drifting in cruise mode. Cruise mode ends when the time limit expires or by using skill 3 again and dealing damage upon ending. However, be cautious as cruise mode often makes it difficult to avoid attacks and Scotty can easily be defeated if you are not careful. In general, melee attacks offer better damage output and the ultimate skill also provides a damage buff to charging attacks. Therefore, many people choose not to use cruise mode at all. The blue code focuses on melee attacks without cruise mode and offers the highest damage output with easy control. In this code, the charging attack duration is reduced by 1 second, and each successful hit reduces the cooldown of skill 1 or skill 2 while increasing the cooldown of skill 3. Skill 1 also receives a damage buff by expanding one mark when the mark is full. The combo in this code simply rotating the charging attacks skill 1 and skill 2. Small tip is you can evade the enemy attack with skill 1 while you are in the air. To gain icebreaker mark faster for skill 1's damage buff, you can try using dodge while moving. This code is more focused on supporting an ice team. The icebreaker mark now provides a team buff, and in cruise mode, this buff is doubled. For full support, you can consider not to use skill 1 during cruise mode to conserve icebreaker mark. This code concentrates on cruise mode. With it, you can extend cruise mode up to 24 seconds, and the final attack of a cruise mode ending receives a damage buff based on the number of missiles you fire during the mode. To make the most of this code, utilize Drift to gain attack speed buffs along with skill 1. Alternatively, you can simply run around and attack from a distance during cruise mode. If you don't need to provide a team buff and wish to combine melee and cruise mode, you can consider using one yellow code with two red code. On the other hand, if you prefer playing in cruise mode and want to prolong its duration, you can consider using one red code with two yellow codes. With this setup, cruise mode can be extended up to 27 seconds. If you want Scuddy to be your main dealer, I recommend using Ice Damage Seagull along with Critical Seagull. Or this set with Divine Grace Seagull also good to use. However, if Scotty will be more of supporting an Ice team, the new Ice Seagull combined with the Divine Grace Seagull would be good. It's good to have Signature Functor, but note that it will need some level of Transcend and lowering Ice Resistance for maximum efficiency. For now, I suggest to skip the Signature Functor and save resources. The Gen Zone Functors can be used instead. Scotty is good to make team with other ice team units that can lower ice resistance. Once you try the Scotty, you will find out that she's not so bad after all. It's unfortunate that cruise mode doesn't seem very useful, 
but still very fun with decent damage. I just hope she can receive buff in future like Osiris and other units. I hope this guide has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.